Well, hello there. <laughs> Why did I slap my thigh before I <laughs> said hi? I'm gonna try to keep this intro short because I've tried to film it like 10 times now and it just, I just, it, 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 it doesn't happen. So, what's up YouTube fam? Welcome back. Today I have another makeup video for you guys. I'm gonna show you my everyday summer makeup routine. That is my go-to. This is what I do when I <coughs> don't know what to do, when I have no inspiration, which is basically all the time. So, if you wanna see how I did this skin, how I did this new lip, and most importantly, how I did this smoked out wing eyeliner, which was very easy, and where I actually didn't even use any like real eyeliner product. Wow. If you wanna see that, I, I suggest you keep on watching. And if you're new here, welcome. <laughs> my name is Nats, and I want my channels to be a space where we take an as realistic and true, but also fun approach to beauty. So if that sounds like your cup of tea, This is a glass of tea, but you understand the idea that you should subscribe. Welcome to the fam. So that was a ramble. Okay, let's, I'm not refilling this again. Let's get into the video. Okay, I'm gonna start with the eyes and the eyeliner because I'm assuming that that's why most people are here to watch. So I'm going to use the Make the Make Vitamin B Brow Slash Eye Marker. Any brownish coal pencil thing you have, just a product that is very easy to smudge and you know kind of soften out will do today i really like this one because it's waterproof and it's really great for the city because i've never sweat this much my whole life like sweat is coming out of places i didn't know it could come out of so i really appreciate this because i'm constantly my skin is constantly humid so this is great another thing that i really like about this product is that it is very soft it's almost like a brow pomade but in a pencil shape so it's very soft it's very easy to blend it's just it's it's perfect for this eye makeup okay so i've done countless eyeliner videos before i'll link the playlist up here so you can go watch them if you haven't but we always talk about the fact that we want to find the end of our crease which for me is right there you see that that's the end of where my crease folds after that there's no fold so you want to start right there and you don't want to go further in than that because if you go further in than that your eyeliner will end up getting swallowed up by your crease meaning you won't get a straight wing but the thing with this product and why it's so much easier than the regular black kind of cold pot or slash a felt tip eyeliner is that this is so much more forgiving you can just blend it out or like just fix it with your finger so, and I just, I don't know, there's just so much more control with a product like this. Of course, you won't get that black, sharp eyeliner, but still a very pretty look. Okay, so I'm gonna start from the corner of my eye and then I'm gonna start painting outwards. But as I said, I'm not gonna go further in than the end of my crease. So I'm just, you see how I'm doing these small motions with this product? And when I completely relax, you see that it's going quite straight. I'm gonna just remove some right up here, filling it in a little bit more. Okay, so as you can see, this is just our actual wing. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to grab a brush. This is the Makeup Geek pencil brush. This is what it looks like. It's super old, so it's probably, they don't have it anymore, I don't think. But any brush that looks like this or close to it, or even an angled brush works fine. I'm just gonna use that to kind of blend this out a little bit, make a softer wing out of it, just blend it out a bit. Then what I do is I connect it with my bottom lash line just a little bit just so that you can see that there's a line from the top to the bottom. There you go. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna fill in a little bit right here on my lash line and on my lid. And then I'm just sort of blending the top of that wand a little bit. I 
I feel like elongating this a bit because it didn't become as long as I wanted it. So I'm going to go ahead and just keep on tracing on that angle upwards on that wing that I've got going on already and give it a bit more length. And then just blending it out of it with the brush. There we go. So people quite often ask me, like, how should they angle their liner? Like how, you know, angle wise, how far up, how far down should they go? You know, some people say that like you should go towards the tail end of your brow. Some people say the temple and it's like, you can do that, but like everybody has a different length to the tail of their brows and everybody has a different face shape. I'm not sure that you can always go towards your temple, which mine kind of is right now. Just try to think about your fold. Where your eyelid folds at the end of that, go right outside of that. Just don't go further in because that will give you that S-shaped liner that you don't want. That's always my tip. Quickly gonna go do the other eye with this product and then I'll be back to show you my next trip for a little bit of extra definition. All right, so for my next trick, it's actually another eyeliner product. This is not something that you have to do. You could leave it this way. This will not make a big difference, but will give a little bit of a finition. So you know how I love the Urban Decay Brow Blade? This is a felt tip eyebrow product. So it's brown and it has a very, very thin felt tip tip. So I just do the very outlining with this one. So I do my bottom part of my eyeliner with this product. Can we focus? Okay, great. So I just do this. As I said, just the bottom line I define with this. This way we get a very defined wing at the bottom. At the same time as we got a very soft and blended out wing on the top of it. I'm gonna do the other eye, give me one second. Okay, that is literally it for the liner. I don't know why with this liner in particular, my eyes get a lot rounder. In a, in a weird way. Why is that? Can somebody tell me? Can somebody who knows and understands angles and colors and depths explain to me why I feel like my eyes look rounder? Is or is it just me? I don't know. Anyways, I'm gonna do some mascara. This is the CoverGirl Total Tease mascara. Talked about this in my June favorites, which is my previous video. I really love this mascara. I feel like I finally found my mascara. By the way, what do you think about my brows? Actually, excuse my brows because I haven't touched them in a long time, which is, you know, there's there's a reason for that. Um, can we focus, please? Can we, you know, right, right? But yeah, thank you. Um, I'm trying to not pluck them too much or like too often because when I do, I just tend to over pluck them. So, I'm gonna have to do it sooner rather than later though, but I would really want for a professional to just clean them up with what's needed because I always overdo it. I always over pluck them, which is something I would love to stop doing. But I actually did kind of a new technique on my brows today with the soap, or I just, I changed it up a tad little bit. Like I'm still using the same products, but I, added more water, I kind of rubbed it in more, and then I pressed down my brows with my fingers um, to give them this kind of like very defined look, even though they're fluffy. So let me know if you want a brow video. I already have one, but I feel like my so brow game is very bad in that one. Okay, so I'm gonna do my face and my lips and I'm gonna do it with all my favorite products right now for summer. So, as usual, I'm gonna go in with some squalane oil. I always prime my face with this with some dry A F. I learned a while ago that you're not supposed to let that, what is that called in English? The serum applicator. Um, you're not supposed to let that touch your face because that's kind of like the whole point of it. That you don't, you know, you can drop it 
onto your skin without that touching your skin because apparently you don't want whatever dirt you got on your face to get into your serum bottle. Okay, if, you, if you've been following lately, if you've been watching the videos of this channel, this product will be no news to you. I talked about it in my last two videos. It's the NYX Bear With Me Skin Veil. It's my favorite tint to moisturize right now. It's just perfect for summer. I'm in the shade Beige Camel, yes. Beige Camel, I should know that by now. This always scares me when I first apply it because it looks so yellow slash orange. But then I realize that my skin is yellow slash orange. <laughs> so it blends in perfectly on me. Talking about something completely else. On Sunday, we came back from our holiday upstate. We went um with a couple of friends actually four more couples we went with um to a big house in a little small town called Livingston Manor in the Catskills it's upstate New York basically and we were there for four nights and it was amazing and we came back and I just felt what the fuck man like I really miss nature <laughs> And I never lived, you know, on the countryside or anything like that. But I always had access to nature. Like in Sweden, there are big forests everywhere. Like Sweden is literally a forest. There's just a bunch of fucking trees everywhere. Like nature, like not parks, like woods. And, and then we just, you know, being there, we just realized both me and my husband, how much we kind of missed that. Um, especially with the fact that we used to have a dog and we used to go, you know, um, on long walks in the woods and stuff and now we're like we, ha we have nothing of that so it's it, uh, i just i just realized how much i miss how much i'm not even a nature person like i'm I fucking hate bugs i hate them and mosquitoes love me and i'm allergic so i get these huge rashes look at this you see this and it's this is like five days old this was like double the size before just gonna go in with this Make the Make Concealer in the shade N4. I've talked about this so much on my channel, love it. You already know. Anyways, I, where was I? <laughs> I'm not a nature person, yeah. I wouldn't camp in a tent, I think. I think I would be like too scared and uncomfortable. Like I would definitely t like, you know, camp if I had like a little cabin, nothing fancy, but like I just, I don't, I don't see myself sleeping in a tent longer than like a night maybe maybe i do it one night maybe so what i'm trying to say is i'm not even a naturist person it's just that having absolutely no access to it i realized how much i love fresh air <laughs> see how there's just this minimal difference this eye has concealer this eye doesn't but there's just there's just this freshness to this side of the face that like I will be crying when I run out because I know they ship worldwide, but like, what about toll costs? Ah, I mean, can't be that bad. Next, I'm going to bronze it. This is also Make the Make, their vitamin C compact bronzer in SB1, their bronzer brush. I swear by both these products. Talk about them in my monthly faves if you want to hear more. Basically now I just want to live in a house that has like the freaking woods as its backyard. Also do this where you put bronzer on your nose. I don't know why I like to do that. Maybe because I find that it looks the most natural because when I tan my nose gets kind of like the tannest because it's, it's, a, it's a big old nose. For blush, I had a really difficult time picking the one I want because I switch it up quite often and there's just so many that I love. So I'm gonna show you the three ones that I use the most. First up is of course the Glossier Cloud Paint in Dusk. This is a, well, it's it's, it's kind of a neutral color, but it, it's a little bit more on the warmer side. So it's, you know, a very subtle peachy color. Then I have the uh, Tower 28 Cream Blush in Magic Hour. 
This is a little bit more on the pink side, but still very natural. These are kind of like the same, but this one is pink and this one is a little bit warmer. And then lastly, I have the stick blush from Isadora. This is their um, stick and brush in 04 Pretty Peach. So I'm gonna use that today because I just feel like having a little bit of a pop on my cheeks. So what I do is I usually put some on my ring finger and then I just, I started to apply it a bit more like right across my cheekbone, like you can see right here, like further back on my face and not so much on the apple of my cheek. Um, don't know why, started doing that, liked it, and here we are today. Some, something like that, something like that, yep. Yeah. Doing the same on this side. I really like these Isadora blushes. If you're in Sweden or like the Nordic countries and you have access to these in your drugstore, I really, really suggest that you try them out along with their highlighter that I'm gonna use now. This is the Isadora uh, Glossy Glow Stick and 34 Dewy Nude. I mean, I've been, I've been, I've been basically nagging about this highlighter because it's exactly what I like in a highlighter. It's that sweaty glow. And you know, for, for a lot of you, you know that I, I'm a very big fan of the RMS highlighters. Um, and because they give this type of like just sweaty, dewy glow. And I wanted to forever find a drugstore option for it. And here I have it. The only annoying part is that they are not very accessible in the States, Isadora, but for anyone who lives in Sweden or the Nordic countries, I definitely think you should check out this highlighter if you're a fan of like, not glittery, not sparkly, but just dewy, sweaty, oily glow. Just, do you see what just happened right there on my cheek? I mean. Sometimes also put some on my forehead just because I can. Like right there. Don't know why I like that, but I do. Let's do some lips. It's gonna be very boring and not out of the box today and do my new lip that I've been doing lately that I really, really love. I think I mentioned that I'm not a huge fan of lip liners and I think it's because it's so difficult to find like a color that suits you well. And I think that like, it, it's so easy to overline. Once you have a lip liner in your hand, man, like you overline, it's just something that happens. I don't know why, it just happens. And so I tend to overline and the color tends to be like not my color and it just looks harsh and not nice on me. And I don't know if it's because I got like a very pointy Cupid's bow and like smaller lips that it just doesn't look very good on me because Riri has a very accentuated Cupid's bow and everything looks good on her. But that's probably just because she's a goddess walking amongst us peasants, you know? I have a <laughs> liquid lip from Pixie. This is their uh, liquid lip in Posh Nude. So what I do is I line my lips with this and then I go in with a gloss on top and that's just been my go-to thing. I'm just gonna grab that and now that I have a little bit of tan going on, this barely even shows up on my lips, which is extra nice. I let that dry and then I go in with a lip gloss. So give me a second for this to dry. There we go. The lip is now dry. So we can go in with gloss. This is the Makeup Revolution Sheer Brilliant Gloss in Knockout. This is just a peachy little a little moment and I just put a tad bit of that on the center of my lips like just boop like that and then I just mm. <laughs> I don't like gloss all over my lips I don't do not like that feeling okay that's it so I hope you liked my summer go-to light coverage smoked out liner look <laughs> if you did please give this video a thumbs up and if you have any suggestions on what you want to see next this look was actually requested by somebody in the comments so thank you guys so much for watching i will hopefully see you in the next